and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Al-Imam al-Bukhari left Bukhara after being trialed and tested by the governor of Bukhara. This is due to the fact that Muhammad ibn Yahya al-Duhli sent letters around Khurasan warning of Al-Imam al-Bukhari, telling people a lie that Imam Bukhari is a man of innovation. Imam Bukhari was a great Imam of Ahl sunnah But that's the life and divine law of trials and tests. Imam Bukhari left Bukhara and was invited by the people of Samarkand. So he headed towards Samarkand. Now in the middle of the way, at a city called Khartank, Imam Bukhari received the news that the people of Samarkand now are disputing whether they should receive him or not. So he stayed in Khartank waiting in a house of one of his uh, relatives, some of his relatives. The person with whom he stayed and the person who took care of him in the last few days of his life is called Ghalib ibn Jibril. In these moments of trials and tests, uh, being tested in Nisapur and then uh, in Bukhara, then now the people of Samarkand are disputing Imam al-Bukhari so that uh, there was something. These trials and tests brought him closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he felt the pleasure of the company of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being close to him. So he made his dua, O oh Allah, take my soul, bring me to you. He fell ill. Now the people of Samarkand actually uh, sent back to him agreeing that he should go there. So he fell ill for a few days, then he found himself a bit, uh, some energy. So he wanted to go and travel to Samarkand to fulfill the uh, invitation. He walked 20 uh, paces and uh, then uh, he felt very weak. Uh, bring me back. Uh, he laid down. Then he sweat a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, people said that had never seen anyone sweating like him. Then his soul just left this world. Ghalib ibn Jibril took care of him and uh, buried him. And his grave became a source of blessings. First of all, a fragrance of musk came out of his grave. People started coming to his grave, seeking the blessings of his grave, even making dua at his grave. And people even carried soil from his grave back, just seeking the barakah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was seen, Abdul Wahid ibn Adam al-Tawawisi saw a dream. He saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam waiting with a group of his companions. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for Muhammad ibn Ismail. The same time he saw the dream, later on he discovered it was the same time Imam al-Bukhari died. May Allah have mercy upon Imam al-Bukhari. <laughs> فأعدت أرفل في ثوب بنتي